so this is my preview, obviously continuing on in the video, of Sting versus Triple H, the confrontation. Sting finally makes his WWE, not return, debut at Survivor Series of 2014, costing the authority out of their job of power, which lasted only one month because um, by uh, authority losing, John Cena only had the power to bring back the authority which was done because Authority almost killed Edge on national TV and John Cena had to bring them back. Then Authority was in power back again. Then Sting comes out, looks at Triple H, uh, costs him something. What was it? I think it was the Ryback. Yeah, yeah, the Ryback Ziggler thing, getting their jobs back because after that Authority came back, those guys got fired. Sting came out. So then Triple H was livid, called out Sting. For confrontation at Fastlane. There we go. The smell makes sense. Okay, you're going to call it Sting. Come at Fastlane. So, an episode on Raw all of a sudden, Triple H calls out Sting saying, come out and accept the challenge for our confrontation at Fastlane. Does that make any sense? Why would you call someone out to accept their challenge for a confrontation when you could just have the confrontation right there? Hey, come out and say, I accept, and then leave, and then come back at Fastlane saying, hey, I want to talk to you again about something. Does that make any sense? Does that make any sense? No, it does not. That makes zero sense. Why? Okay, say I'm you. I'm going to call you out. You, person A, hey, come to Fastlane. I'm going to confront you. You better show up. And then like two weeks later, before the thing's about to happen, I'm like, hey, I didn't hear from you. What are you doing? Are you coming? You better show up and tell me you're coming or not. And then after, and then just leave. Say, I'm coming. And then leave on and go on along. Go along your way and then come back again. Why wouldn't we just face off right there and then? That makes zero logical sense. But the way they did it, but Sting came out, called out Sting. Triple H came out, called out Sting, saying, Hey, where are you, Sting? Do you accept? Are you coming? I'm going to show up for nothing. I'm going to stay in the ring. Look like goof. You scared? What are you doing? Well, Triple H was the one that scared. The lights turned out. Sting, a fake Sting was at the door, came, the light, um, closed the door. Um, a graphic came on the screen. Fake Sting came in the ring. Triple H took a bump. And then look behind him, and then the graphic said, I accept that fast line. So there you have it, Triple H versus Sting. The whole confrontation, I'm going to call it. Everyone knows what's going down. They ain't going to touch each other. There's no, there's going to be no Stinger Splash, no Scorpion Death Drop, no Pedigree. The whole thing is, Triple H is going to be like, Sting, why'd you do it? Why'd you come back and survive Survivor Series? Sting's going to be like, duh, 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 duh. Triple H is going to be like, blah, 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 blah. Boom. So you know what we should do? WrestleMania 31, Levi Stadium. Let's do this. Me versus you. Your first ever, ma first ever match. I killed WCW. I'm going to kill Sting too. Boom. And then you have a WrestleMania 31. Sting, first ever match. Most people thought it was going to be Undertaker. No. Why would you have a match with Undertaker? Undertaker is old and gray and never coming back, right? He's retired. He's 21. In one, I was there. My favorite wrestler of all time. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying that about him. I think he's going to get a 100 times better match out of Triple H versus Sting because Triple H could carry Sting on into a better match and it's actually a very fun storyline of uh, the authority the, the higher power going up against this uh, anomaly of sting finally going into the w coming to wwe and having his first ever match at wrestlemania 31 i think it's gonna be a huge big deal this is one one regret i'm 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 uh i'm having for not going to wrestlemania 31 for not seeing sting uh first ever match in the wwe because sting is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time next to the undertaker um so there you have it. The whole fast lane thing is going to be Sting, Triple H. They're going to go blah, 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 blah. Uh, WrestleMania 31. Boom. There's your match. And then, I don't honestly, I want to know who's going to win over the match. I think Sting has to be Triple H, but you never know what could happen. So there you have it. Triple H, Sting. It's going to happen. WrestleMania 31. But that whole fast lane deal is just going to be like a like a 20 minute uh, intro of Raw where they're going to go back and forth and one thing's going to go to the another. And then WrestleMania 31. Bam. We got the match official. It's going down Levi Stadium, March 29th, I think. Yeah, I think it's 29th or 30th. WrestleMania 31. It's going down fast lane. We're on the road. We're on the fast lane. So when you get off to the middle lane to go to the exit lane to go to WrestleMania, I don't. Just, yeah, someone explain that to me.